So I'll, I'll gab while you handle that. Uh, I hope it's Chick Corea. Tell me, tell me that's an important call. And uh, so what, what we're trying to do is help you learn the grip and how to turn your wrists with said grip, right? And, yeah. and so there is a, a, a very specific a fulcrum that we're looking for when it comes to palm down match grip, right? and that's that three finger grip sending energy from the middle of the thumb across to somewhere between the first and second finger so that it's an honest to goodness three finger grip. Okay. And, and so we're gonna we're gonna have to uh, we'll work on that. And then we also want to learn how to just turn our wrists. Right? So the Just do that with me. Just let this see buzz. I don't play this. So after you, let's see. that into two. Yeah, but then you're gonna go back to bus. So you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna go back and forth. And and to get it to bounce the wrist turn doesn't change, but the I have to feel I have to feel the energy. Let, let's see. Let's see if I can can show you. That's all up front. See, I want to spread the energy. That's that's way back. I'm, back in here somewhere. I want the, ener the energy centered. So we can play two. Or three. Okay, so go ahead and buzz it for me. You're at 72, right? Let's see. Yeah, just let it buzz. I can adjust my thumbs. I play along. Here it is, way up front. Listen, listen how that changes the rebound. Here's my thumb, kind of bent, so the energy is really landing somewhere. The first this was a Richard Martinez thing. So the energy is really landing somewhere up front. If I send the energy more towards the middle finger, see here, here it is up front. Here it is spread out. Here I feel it predominantly like it's almost like this grip, but there's something back here. That's not the feeling. The feeling is this. So that when you land, you're landing right in the center of the thumb. And the energy gets spread out. See, I, here, here, here I'm a little too far forward. And this is a Martinez thing. Look, look where the the creases, my thumb. See, this is too far up. This is wrong. Can you see it? Can you see the crease goes all the way up to here? I want the crease right here, right in the middle. I want to do, do this. Thank you, Richard Martinez. Go ahead and, and, and make an indentation on your thumb here. I'd actually make a, an indentation. 
right in this. No, you're too far up, dude. It's here. It's not up here. You, you pointed to here. That's your thinking. I want it in the middle. Yes. Even down a little more. Tiny, let, let me take a look at that. Okay, make the indentation. Don't hurt yourself, but make an indentation and show it to me. There. There. Can you see it? Yeah, that's better. Okay, that's where you want. That's where you want things to rotate around. Right? This is where this grip gets confusing. Traditional grip. It, it's like the fulcrum is definitely right there in the crotch of the thumb. It's it's here. It's pretty easy, right? And then you form a grip. Over here. Yeah, okay. I, and I can feel that little indentation. I can feel the stick moving around that. I can feel it. When the stick lands, I can feel it pulling on the tip of my first finger a little, and I can feel it pulling in the, on the middle finger a little. It seems rather equal, right? Go ahead and just try to move your first finger a little. Just, just, you've got your three finger grip. Maybe this is a better way to do it. It's not a death grip. There should be, it feels like what I'm feeling, making this stuff up as they go along. See, your thumb looks like it's not really running. Let's see. And I sent you, a, remember you said, my thumb stays straight, it won't. I have, I sent you a picture of your thumb looking just like this. So it can do this. Yeah, it really can. Whether you need to push, if you have that little dot that you created on your thumb, that's where that's where you're going to center the thumb or the stick against that area of the thumb. And that dot should run right across to here. Does it? No, you're, I don't think it does. No, you're, you're angled down like this. It's not. It's really not. If you need to make the dent again, I can actually feel my dent. If I make a dent and I go to play for a while, I can actually feel it moving around that crater, like on the edges of the upper area of the crater, so to speak. That looks better. See, that little bit is the difference between success and failure. And it just changed your grip. All you're gonna do is turn down, get to the floor, and, and stop as the stick bounces. You're just gonna. And just like I, just like I do that here, I can get that for the traditional grip players. It's truly a it's truly a rotation, so it's different. You're not you're not really working on this, but some some people are. And so we get that. Right, we're looking for a rebound. As I said, over here it's obvious. Over here, it's more mysterious. Turn up the same height that I did. Don't, don't change the experiment. It's going to turn up. Now, what you need to do is you don't need to keep going and exaggerate movement once you get to the surface. You get to the surface with that grip. You get to the surface with the grip, and the stick will start doing this. Yeah, right when I hit, I can feel it pulling on. I can feel it here I can see it. And, and here. I can see it. I can see it in my mirror. That's cool. And it sounds better. Now, you have to decide how high you're going to turn. So you were turning, you, you went back to you playing quarter notes 72. Okay, so let's lock it in. Metronome at 72, and you're playing quarter notes.
Thumb looks better. Okay, nice and, it's nice and flat, but that's, that's cool right now. Okay, now turn that into two notes. It's going to come down and ask for two notes. You froze, and just when you're doing so well, see if it comes back. Okay, got a Canadian connection. Back to buzzing. Pretty good, Jim. There you go. Not bad. Do that in the other, Do that in the other hand. Feels good, doesn't it? See? It's real bouncy if you get your grip right and you learn how to turn your wrist and come to the floor. So go ahead and do that. Left, buzzing, quarter note. 70. Watch where the thumb is. It's right on the high turn. Sometimes you come up of the L. Now you're coming up higher than the right. The right, I don't think the right was coming up that high, was it? The you have to just how high you're going. Show me how high you're going to turn. Come on up. So you're coming up right to the bottom of the uh, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. And then you're coming down. Nice and flat. And then you're going to turn that into turn that into doubles. Just by requesting the just by requesting two of those. Go ahead. Darn computer. Canadian geese in the way of our session. See, that looks pretty good. Right. Now, now what I want you to do now, so you're feeling you're feeling that. So now let's see. Let's see. Too slow, maybe. No, we don't always typically we make a little throw for. Now I'm, I'm, I'm playing a Swiss triplet. Some, what we typically do is make a little throw. But first, I just want you to take the success you had because maybe your throw is mucked up. So let's not introduce it yet. But you've been successful up until this point so far, right? Well, that's cool. So now what I want you to do, it's a little slow, but it can be done. I just want you, 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 got, you went from this to doubles, right? This. The doubles, and then I'm going to have you stagger them. As you can see, this can also be doubles. It can, because all, all a Swiss triplet is, is doubles divided instead of them being like this. Now there's a flange, so they're they're not uh, divided evenly. They're, they're staggered in this way. So, but there's still doubles. Okay, so go ahead and do that. Hey, sec, Kevin. I'm, I'm getting inundated with all these messages. Can you well, you're, you're the important Canadian cat. I get it. You know, right? And it's a last minute. It's a call for a last minute gig in Hamilton. I, I won't be able. To... Hamilton. It, don't don't you let. Folks know that you only take gigs in Windsor, the pizza, pizza capital of Canada. Oh, yeah, I watched the documentary. We're not playing in Hamilton. Windsor, maybe. Done. Okay. Get back to the West. All right. All right. So that's cool, though. Nice to be desired. Okay. So we've got, we've got, we've, let me turn that into doubles and now. Now we're just going to turn our wrists for dogs, but we're staggering them. Do this. Do this.
stay flat. Stop doing this. Come on, stay flat. It's just this this thumb is going like this. Show me this. Take the stick out of your hand for a minute. Take this, take this stick out of your hand. And just do this. Come on, stick your thumb out a little bit. This for fun. This is remedial. Uh, and just track the thumb. See what it does? See how it moves? See the path it's moving? See the path? It, it's not doing this. It, it could. We play like that all the time, but I want you to learn this. You can art there. That's what you might. And that, now let your arms hang. No, no, do, but do what you were just doing. It, it was, looked so good. Whether it's this or this, however. You, there you go. There you go. Now drop your arms by your side. Let's make sure your arms are also nice and loose. Because you don't need tight arms to go like this. Right? You really don't. Okay, so we're just following the path of the thumb. Go ahead and bring your arms up nice and relaxed. They might be a little further apart. See, maybe that's part of the problem. You want to play, maybe you spent time working on timpani and you're in this position some. It's this, watch, just bring it up. You don't have to do that. There. And, and you're just going to move, you're just going to move like you just did, watch your thumbs. That's really good. See, that's wrist, wrist turn, wrist turn, wrist turn, wrist turn. See, now go into half, now, and your arms are nice and relaxed, and you're just turning your wrist. It doesn't feel like anything, does it? it? There's not much to feel, is there? Now, now what I want you to do, that's, that's really good. Now, let's see, what do I want you to do? Now I want you to turn into turn to half turned over and do the same thing and know the difference. Yeah, so that's different, isn't it? Your fulcrum will change, things will change. Okay, okay, now go back to palm down. That's what you don't want to do. Now, why don't you just, don't move your left hand. Just take your right hand, put a stick in it, grab the stick with your, with your right hand and put it in your left and leave it there. Just leave your left the way it is. No, 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 go back. Well, that looks pretty good, but just go back to what you were doing. In the left, the right's gonna be responsible for, for feeding the left. So I want you to remember what this feels like. It's really good, okay? See, if you can do that, it means you're gonna get this. Okay, now you're gonna just put the stick in there. And not much is really gonna change. You don't have to do much. Just slide the stick in there. Look how much you went to grab it. Look, it's just like this, and I'm just gonna, okay, the thumb does have to create a space for it, but it's very little, what? I just, just enough for the stick to, to crawl there. There, now your thumb, shouldn't it look just like it did? It shouldn't change. Take the stick out of your hand. Take the stick out of your hand. We have a bad answer. No, 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 you see your thumb's changed. Something. No, that's not what you look like. When you just did this, just go back to this. This look really good. There, that's what your thumb, that's the position your thumb should be in. It shouldn't change. Just, just put the stick in there. You want to pinch up on the top. You just kind of can't leave it along the side like it was with no stick. Stick, watch. Look, watch. Look at my thumb. No stick. Look at my thumb. It's a little closer to the first finger. But here's the stick look, looks the same, doesn't it? Look, there it is not with now. There it is with a stick. Nothing bulges out back here. Nothing changes. So just put a stick in there. And it does that as though you were just doing this. Okay, there. Now your palm down. Now buzz that. Don't you don't have to grab it any time. Just don't do anything. Just come to the floor and let it rock over that three-finger grip. Come on, that looks really good. See, now you're palm down. Now you're palm down. There. Can you stay palm down like that and play two notes? There you go. There you go. Now you're palm down. That's it. That's really good. Now on the right. Now on the right. Can you pick up a stick? Because I don't want to change your left. You have to do it. Can you copy that in your right? Cross lateral transference. You don't have to do anything. It's just like you're not holding the stick. The thumb goes up and down like, like you saw. No, 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 no. You're, in, you're already in the right. You've gone into some, you've gone into this. Can you see the difference? Look at your hands in the monitor. 
Look at your hands. It's not the same. You immediately go into, and I get it, years and years of some other thing that someone has told you, you see on the internet or whatever, you came up with yourself. I went through all of this, Joe. There you go. And you're right. Just put the stick down and just do this now, like you did successfully before. There you go. That looks great. And you're just going to go like that. Thumb goes up and down, doesn't it? There it is. Now, now go ahead and feed. Take the stick out of your left and feed the right like you did vice versa. Go ahead and put the left stick in the right hand. It just moves the thumb away a tiny bit. You don't have to change your back fingers. Take it out again. Take it out. Get it, get to feel what get to know what this feels like. About me. Now I'm getting excited. Because you're so close. Ah. Thumb goes up and down. Look at the baby fingers going up and down with the thumb, isn't it? Notice they all move in concert. Now the fourth, or the the uh, ring, the uh, the ring finger, it's moving in concert with the thumb, just like the fifth. Now the middle finger, it's moving in concert, right? And yeah, see, it's all smooth. You're not grabbing a stick suddenly and doing this. Now all you do is just leave that alone and feed the stick into the hand. Don't do anything with your baby finger. Don't grab it. Just feed it. There. That's not bad, yeah. Now the whole thing should move in concert again, just like it did. Baby finger, thumb, first finger, straight up and down. Baby finger doesn't need to come pulling in at all. It can just very, there you go, my bounce up. Now you're allowed to just adjust the thumb a little bit if you need to. If you're setting the energy too far up, you can play with that as you leave everything else alone. Nice and flat. You don't have to twist as you get to the surface. It comes flat down. That's not bad. Okay, now turn that into two. Into two. Da 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 da. Don't go changing anything. Just ask for two. It's it's kind of mysterious, I know. Okay, you're just coming down to the floor. Look, you're right at the floor. Look where your left is waiting. Really comfy and cozy at the floor. Do it in your left. Your left looks even a little better than your right. But now go ahead and do it in your left. Buzz. Buzz in the left. Okay, now play two notes. Don't change anything. Now go ahead and play the Swiss, the Swiss triplet pattern. That adjust maintaining this. The thumbs going up and down. Concentrate on your thumbs. Just turning. Now, now just play the rhythm. Don't play the double. Just go da da. Da 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 da. You're leading left, I guess. Da da. Don't go into half turned over. You're losing it. You're losing it. Go on, play the rhythm. There it is. That's your arms. All you're doing is the wrist is the wrist is a fulcrum. You're turning. Don't go into half turned over. You're starting in the left. Left was better than the right. Now the right's better than the left. Come on, get it back. Imagine what it's like to do this with no stick. Not bad. Thumb. Now, I want you to just keep doing that, and I want we're going to cycle through a few things. The thumb is going up and down with the baby fingers. I know it seems like you were the furthest thing apart. In both hands, aren't they? The thumb is going up and down with the first finger. Feel that? The thumb is going up and down with the ring finger. Don't change a thing. Just notice. Cycle through it and get to know what your body's doing. It froze for a second. The fourth and the thumb is going up and down with the middle finger, isn't it? Don't go turning into half turned over. Your thumb is starting to creep around in the left. There you are. It's that perfect little turn that you felt with no stick in your and everything's moving together, but you know there's a concentrated awareness with regards to this bigger group. Now all I want you to do is let that bounce for two notes. You don't have to really change anything. That's what's kind of bizarre about it. You don't have to suddenly start to do anything. You have to open your hand. You don't have to go further. That's good. Da -da -da -da, even though it was in a Swiss triplet. 
Put your hands up. Don't go in front. Half turned over in the right. Now your left's better than your right. Come on. Really concentrate. Such terrible reception. Okay, so, so let's. Let's start it. Okay, so let's stop for a minute and rest here at the floor. Okay. Imagine everything we talked about, what it feels like with those, because you really, this seemed to really help you. What, concentrating on what the thumbs do, you're just doing this. Everything moves together. Now the thumb is going to come in. And the, okay, okay, now don't play for a sec. So what you were just doing, let's see. Let's see. You're going, ah, 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 which was really cool. Maybe that I'll include that in the exercise. Click, click, 72. It's that's harder. That's harder than, well, well, maybe it's not. Because now, we want to let the stick bounce a little more slowly. Now you're back to your you're back to your old thing. You lost, you lost it. You're, you're back to this. You're not this. Not you're not this. Come on, left. The two thumbs are looking at each other, aren't they? The two thumbs are doing. Look, look. <laughs> I've never done this before, but we're just doing this, right? See the thumb going up in there? Actually, you're more like in here somewhere. All you did was just do this. Let's see the thumbs move perfectly together. Come up to here, totally flat. We have a bad Canadian here. Your thumbs look like they're really like this. Mine are flat, holding up the stick. Just do this. Yeah, do this. Come on, show me your, show me the inside of your hand. Come on, I want to see the hand. I want to see the hand. No, nope. there it is. Here, now get flat. Drop it in here. Come on, get nice and flat. You can spread apart just a little further. You're a little tight in. Just come out where you normally would be. Come on, hold your hands up. Put you in the perfect position. Don't holding your hand, holding your think my phone. Hold your fingers up so you can see the hand. It shouldn't bring the stick up. Come on, keep the stick here. Look how close I am to the surface. I don't have to lean it out. I'm right here. Everything's hanging. Okay, now just just do this. Come on, I'm, I'm in here. I, I'm not down here. What this is, what we're doing. You see, see, it's this balance on the thumbs. The thumbs go up and down together. We're not like this. You can't even go into half. You can't go into half turned over. The stick will block you. Try. Try going into half turned over. And it's impossible. You can't. So maybe I invented a cool way just to stop you and your particular propensity to want to go into it's it. Try not to wiggle my fingers. I just want to move my wrists. See, I want the thumb and the baby finger and all the fingers to move uh, together. Boom, boom. See, so that when I play, the thumbs can't go into half turned over because there's something running underneath. I'm here. And the thumbs are now going to do this. Now the thumbs are doing this. The two thumbs. Okay. Is with no thumb. There. Palm down. Put your thumb on. They have a relation to, to one another. This is flat. Remember where the energy is running. Okay. Now, now just now play da 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 da. The shuffle pattern that will turn your hands look great right now. Arms are relaxed. All you have to do is think of that thing that we just did. There. 
Bring, bring them both up together to copy what we just did. Bring them up together. Bring them up together as though there was a stick like, like, how did I do it? Like this. Bring them up together. See, the thumbs are going to work together. There, there, there. You're nice and palm. That's real strong, nice and flat. You're going to land right there. You got it. Now, now just put them separate. Ba da, ba da, like a shuffle. Don't change what you were feeling with the thumbs. Now go da blata, da blata, da blata. Just let it rock through that that fulcrum. It really will. I know it's. You won't have to turn the wrist twice. Come on, think of the thumbs. Don't let that go. Don't let that go. You're starting to go into half turned over right away. You're going into half turned over. Go back to just playing singles, palm down. Come on, think of the thumbs, their relationship. Go on. There, now you got it back. Okay, just play them in unison and just let it go. Da da, da da, da da, da da. You don't have to turn twice. Watch. All you have to do is turn once. Is it 72? Here, watch. So I'll get you there. I'll figure this out. You can see my just just watch. I'm not just meditating on on. Let's see. Okay. You don't have to turn. You don't have to go. You can go. Wow. It's the same as this. Look. Watch my thumb. Turn. The thumb only turns once, just like it's turning for a single. See? Ha. Uh, ha. Uh. And I don't even play this grill. Okay, you've frozen. There, you're back. There, now play singles. Just play singles. Just now just turn for one note. No, no, just one note. Sorry. Boom. Boom. Keep flat now. Remember how the thumbs work. You really have that. Now just you got you know you have a three-finger fulcrum with energy running from the thumb. Now just let it bounce. Just, just turn once and let it bounce. It will if your fulcrum is set up properly. Go wait for the, the internet. I there you go. There you go. There you go. Now go da 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 speed it up. So it's the same speed bounce. No, you lost it. You've gone you lost it. You're back to have to go. Remember it's now now play singles and see your flat. Come on, da 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 ba da ba da now just let it bounce. You don't have to do anything else. All you say is, I want your notes. Let it bounce. No, you're back to half turned over. You're back to half turned over. Back to half turned over. I know. No, just do this again. Just do this again. Remember the thumbs? It's as if I want to draw. It's, it's you can see a line running from this thumb to this thumb. Can't you? You you I could probably attach a string. I could tape a string. Here and here, and they would go up together. They, and as soon as I go into half turned over, you'd break the string. Yeah, so you break it, you pull them apart. I want the string to go up and down together. Nice and flat, there. Now, if one does it all by itself, that doesn't mean it needs to do this, because you'll still break the string. Come on, do, do it. Go for it. Now just play one hand. Yeah, you see, you're not going to break the string. Go into half turned over and break the string on purpose. 
Yeah, there you go, you broke it. Put it back. There it is. Do that in the other hand. There it is. Now on the left. Waiting for the internet to catch up. Good, really good. Your thumb looks good. Now now break this. Oh, wait. Now break the string. Go into after cover. Break the string. Come on, roll over a little and break it. Roll over a little. There you broke it. Now put it back. Ah, there it is. There. Now that's all you're doing. Bada as a shuffle. Bada bada. Don't break the string. Don't break the string. Thumb, 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 thumb. Break the string. There you go. Now go ahead and turn that into doubles and don't break the string. Go on. You're going back into half. You had it for a minute there, even though you're not playing a Swiss triplet. You that's hard. That that it's a little easier maybe because it's bouncing faster. So go and put your metronome up to. Uh, da 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 da. Put your metronome up to 100. Maybe speed is the answer. Let's try that. Okay, so now that would be even harder to do because now it would be really fast. So it would be easier for you to play Swiss triplets. So thumb, don't break the string. Ba -da, ba -da. Ba -da, ba -da, go, ba -da, ba -da. go, go, go. This is all it is, dude. Thumb, here I'm, I broke the look, I broke the string, putting it back. Here I broke the string. I'm putting it. I can play this, but I know I'm doing it. I can do either. You don't know. This is all you can do. You don't understand this position. See? See how they go together? They're going together. Everything's moving in concert. Baby finger, thumb, everything. Everything's moving in concert. You got it. That looks there. You, you got it. It's back. Okay, and all you're going to do is play that shuffle at, at 100. Da -da, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. If you were doing it singles, you just do uh, here, just do singles. No, just do singles to get the feeling. Uh, go and break the string on purpose. Break the string on purpose. Now, come on, exaggerate it. Come on, really going to have turned over. Okay, I can't get you to do that. Going to have turned over. No. Okay, now, 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 done. Unbreak the string. Come back. It's almost easier, isn't it? Look, the, the wrist really turns this way, doesn't it? Okay, come on, left hand, get nice and flat. Okay, keep going. Flat. It's tennis. Now, but da 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 so your familiarity with the fulcrum right now is lacking. Yes. Is lacking. However, you now have a perspective. You actually, and you have a feeling, right? So now you can see it. You can see it too, can't you? You can feel it and see it. Go and turn into half turn over and break the string. You should be able to play that way too, but you don't even play that way in the way that I want. And isn't that interesting? Sticks started going out like that. I don't know what that was. So, but now go back to palm down and the sticks will go straight up and down. There, that, that, see, that looks like, that's correct. 
like that, right? So you just got Swiss triplets at 100. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm really happy with that. You should be too. Found a way to get you to feel it and really recognize it and see it. I see you. I see you looking in your mirror. It's really cool. Now take out uh, stick control. We're keeping this really simple, man. Because this technique really is very simple, but. Perhaps, perhaps the smarter you are, Joe, the harder it is. I don't know. You don't overthink this stuff, okay? Just trying to do my best in learning. What's that now? I'm just trying to do my best in learning this. Now it's coming along. Page five. And now we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna lock this in. This feeling. On top, you're back. No, you're back. You know, lost it. You're back to half turned over, and I can see your fingers pulling. Just go back to this. You just have to take. What well, we're back to you. Just going to do that. You're you're starting to go back into your thing. You've lost. Just do this every day before you play. As you're practicing, you should, not too close. Because right? look, if you're too close, you're, you can feel tension. No need. And, and you're just doing this. It's also cool to take the thumbs off. That'll work. You're just doing this. Take your thumbs off a little bit so you can really identify them. Point them at, pull them off a little. There you go. And now they're really honest. They're your, they're your rabbit ears or so. I don't know. They're your proboscis. <laughs> there. See how they're not, you know, just go up and down, straight up and down. Put your, bring your thumbs back in. They don't do it. Everything's relaxed. They go straight up and down. Don't go too fast. Just take your time. Boom. 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 Up, down, up, down, up. No, we don't want to turn too far. Where, where are we turning to? Find where we're turning to. That's what you're not getting. No, don't go fast, fast. Just what? Show me where you're turning to. Is that where you're going to turn to? Is that your floor? Here, I'll turn to here. <laughs> No, you look, that doesn't look, you look like this. That would mean the stick has come up. I want you flat. Just like this. Okay. Now, come up and come back to that. Watch your thumb travel. Smoothly. Computers. No, you came down too far. You said, this is my floor, and you went up, and then you went down to here. It only comes back to where you started. It's nothing. This is nothing. Thumbs will always come back to the same place. Right to there. One up, right to there. Right to there. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. You don't stop at the top. You go note, note, da, da. Come on, make the sound, da, da, ta, ta, da, da, da. Da. Now say da da, da da. She don't feel identical, really. Da da, da da or da. Play one note. Don't go too far forward. Note, single, 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 double, double. One two three, one two three, one two three four, one two three four five, one two three four five six, one two three four five, one two three four. One, two, three. One, two. One. Learn to turn your wrist. Good. You're feeling that. Now, put the metronome at, uh, put it at 72. Metronome at 72. Grip looks, there. Grip looks better. See, up until now, you haven't even had a, a, a good, to quote someone you listened to and thought about. Which is cool. 
You you have you, you don't have a setup. You don't have this setup. This looks like that. Good. Now Metronome 72 as played, not in cut time as written. We're going to just play them as eight notes. Number one, page five, stick control. No, that's quarter notes. I play eighth notes, right? Metronomes at seventy two. Seventy two. So you're gonna go. Really, it would be faster. It would be more like that. We're just doing this. You're going to have to turn up. You're go you've lost this. You've lost it. Okay, exercise number two. Good. Go. This, this exercise is all about the thumb turning and coming back to where you started, which is the floor. Did you turn it around? Do we have a lag or did you turn it around? Now I want you to start left. Number two. Yeah, I turned it around. Okay. Left, we have a little, right, left, right. Okay, we have a little bit of a lag. That's what I figured. Now go to number three. Number three. It's all about your grip and the turn. All you're thinking of. Uh oh. There's one of those Canadian geese. Right. I, hope, I hope the Canadian geese has some gray goose tied to its neck and is coming this way. You look, your singles got really good. Singles look. Now the doubles are going to do this. It's nice and relaxed, see? Waiting. See, I'm, I'm, my left is waiting. Just watch. Just watch. My left is waiting, isn't it? Look, my, okay. my my left is waiting. Now my right is waiting. My left is waiting. Now don't play. Just sometimes just take the time to. I know it's a, it's hard to calm your body down and your spirit down so that you can just be reflect uh, reflect on what's happening. Just watch for a sec. See my left waiting. Watch. My left waiting, my right's waiting, my left's waiting, my right's waiting. Over and over with this grip coming back to the floor. It, it doesn't have to go. It's just waiting, 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 because I'm at the floor. Left hand, don't lose your palm down. Don't forget your proboscis. Don't forget that thing. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Look how relaxed it is, the one that's waiting. Right? Okay, now number four. Number four. Don't lose the grip. Thumb, 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 thumb. We don't have to play too hard. We don't have to play too hard. We're just getting this motion up to down. There you go. Waiting, waiting. Number five, number five, number five. Play your t-shirt. You can put stick control away. It's on your t-shirt. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Don't go faster now. I, we, Peter's doing. Calm down. Comes. Come on, you're starting to get, you're turning into the back of the hand on your left has disappeared. You stop just doing this. Right's better than your left now. Come on, flatten it out. There it's coming. There it is. Thumb, thumb, thumb. Don't pound it through the surface. Just lift it up. And make motion and come back to the floor. Waiting, waiting, waiting. 
waiting. Look how long the right there, how long the right waits. Right now, there, well, right now. While the other hand is playing a double. Watch. You're feeling it. You're feeling it. So watch. Uh, 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 uh. Waiting. Watch. Waiting. Waiting. Look how much time I have to wait. Waiting. Waiting. All that time that you've never even really been aware of the fact that there's a hand that can go out for a latte and chill for a minute. Yeah, that's what it feels like a lot of the time. Yeah, waiting. Okay, you got the paradiddles. Let's go on to number nine. Play number nine for me. Waiting, 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 waiting. Isn't that beautiful? It's just waiting. Everything's in perfect position. You're not slamming. You're getting exactly what you want with a warm, comfortable attack. Play number 10. Um, um, don't go pulling the left hand fourth and fifth in. Let them hang out. Let them hang. Think of the thumb. Okay, go ahead and play number 13. 13. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Come on, show me how it waits. Don't go, you have to crush it in the left with your back fingers to wait and turn it into half. It can just sit there like this, can it? Just sits there like that. Like that. Doesn't do anything freaky. Waiting, see how the other one just waits? Feel your thumbs? Now, just to remind yourself, you're successful. Now, just come on up and come down. Just come on up and come down. You like that, see? And you're coming right back to the floor. All right, much better. Okay, now to satisfy your, your wish is my command. You learned that we had the same book last week. Kevin, let me ask you a question. Go ahead. Get into that. The beads. Distance of the beads. Is this fine? I've got like about an inch of space in between. You're talking about in between each other? Yeah. Yeah, that's a, you're trying to play, try playing on a quarter or a dime. Yeah, okay, got it, okay. Whatever you decide, that's where it's got to stay. Oh, th yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. where it stays forever. Yeah. Okay, you're feeling it. Oh, this is good, this is good, because I was, I was feeling this happening, even as I was practicing this week, I could feel back into this, and I became aware of it, I became really aware of it, but I'm glad that, I'm glad that we're making this effort to flatten things out. Beautiful, man. Okay, now let's see if we can apply any of this. Yeah, no, we can. Definitely. You learned, not only did I study with the great Jim Blackley at Toronto, what was that street that he lived on in uh, Hillsdale, 260 Hillsdale Avenue? Hillsdale. Hillsdale, 260 Hillsdale. You know, the, the people are going to be making a pilgrimage knocking on that door. Thanks Terry for revealing the address. That was Terry Clark's house. He was renting it to Jim Blunt. Really? Yeah. Terry I, Clark lives there now. Oh, God. You, okay. Well, everyone should know where Terry Clark is because he's. That's what we just told everyone. Amazing. Okay, so isn't that what Don Thompson did with uh, David Foster? David Foster came out to hear Don Thompson play with me in Toronto at the Rex. So I got introduced, and David, David explained to me, he said, I saw Don, who's black and white TV, playing the piano. Well, Don lived on Vancouver Island, and I guess David was in Vancouver. He snuck out of the house as a 13-year-old kid, took the ferry across to Vancouver Island, and knocked on Don Thompson's door. And Don spent the entire afternoon with him, teaching him. So, right? How many people have the ambition? Like Bach, interestingly, there was a, a great organist whose name I don't want to uh, mispronounce. Uh, Bach would walk 40 miles, 40 miles to hear this guy play. Okay, so, yeah, that's what should be happening. When you want the knowledge, 
knowledge and the, and the inspiration, you'll go the distance to get it. Literally. Pre-Skype uh, pre, uh, days. <laughs> Uh, so, as I said, not only did I study with a, a, a bunch of wonderful teachers, <coughs> right? Murray Spivak, Richard Wilson, Richard Martinez, yep. Jim Blackley, and Roy Burns. Yep. Okay. And as well, I've, I've spent, I've taken a lesson or two from just about every name who's ever come through LA, give or take. Uh, Elvin, I came this close just before he left us. Gave me his personal number at the uh, LA Union where he was performing. One of my students got hit the door prize, which was his snare drum. Wow. She's kind of, it's awesome. Okay. Elvin said, yeah. that, Elvin said to me that that was the best snare drum he ever played in his life. This was his, uh, his Yamaha signatures. Well, was that the one with the wood rim? Yeah, yeah. Really? That's what my student got. Now, what's interesting is someone stole that from him. But he had removed the head, so he still has Alvin's signature uh, on it. The drum can be replaced. The head can't be. So, okay. So we have all this cool stuff. It's very different than what we're yeah. doing. We're not using it for that. No, exactly. In a way, Roy was an absolute sweetheart to me. And uh, I'd have to drive for like like a two hour drive. It was in Fullerton or somewhere. I can't, it was very far away in, in, a, in a strip mall. It's a music store and he had a space in the back. It was real down home. This is probably before he really got Aquarium going, right at the beginning. Yeah. And then and I became an endorser of Aquarium. And, and Chris Brady, who represents Aquarium, is one of the nicest guys you ever meet. They're really a, a wonderful company. And I see Roy, I have pictures with Roy at the NAMM show. This is so lovely, right to the end. But we all miss Roy Burns. So we're going to uh, pay homage to him and take a look at, uh, go to uh, 92290. 92290. That's when I was saying. So that would have been September, September 22nd, 1990. Yeah. 100 years ago. <laughs> okay, so we have nine, and we're going to look at page 16. 16? Yeah. That, that must have been Berlioz. Berlioz, the composer, conductor, who had like 21 timpanis in a piece or something. He drove everything. He must have liked drummers. Yeah. yeah. OK. <clears throat> I don't think this is it. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is good. This is okay. So, because the gig, the gig on this is, we're trying to get this. Maybe someone who studied with Roy Lombard could really explain that to me. Yeah. 
So, and then the next exercise is, uh, 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 uh
Oops, I get a test. Hold on. I'll find my way here. Oh, yeah, the throw. So the throw, see how this feels? Now watch, see if you can see this in my throw. No, no, don't do it. No, see this? It's that thing with this grip that I told you, with the three finger fulcrum grip. Okay, don't play yet. That looks really good. And the feeling of this, go ahead and even, I'll let you now go ahead and play. Just do this, just turn and come back. Okay, that, that's all. Now stop, don't play again. No, just watch me. See if you can notice that here. You see it? Do you see, do you see this? Just watch. Do you see this here? See it? Turn. It's this. With just a little motion. There you go. Now go back to this. It has to be, this has to be pure. Palm down, three finger thingamajig. Come on. There you go. Do it again. Now feel some of that in your throat, just for a single. You've got to feel that. That. It's in the right. There you go. Now let it bounce three times. Make sure you're nice and flat. Just this. Remember, it's just the thing. No, you don't have to fold your you don't have to open your fingers. You lost it. Your throw got better though. Remind yourself of what it feels like just to turn for a single. Let's go through that one more time. Darn connection. Come on. Not you, it's deception. Okay, that's all it's gonna feel like. Now let that bounce three times. You don't have to throw your fingers over to do it. You literally just no, oh, you're starting to go in a half turned over. You don't have to. You really don't. There you go. Now make that little throw and have the feeling of that wrist turn that doesn't throw your fingers open. It's that. Now just make a throw. Now right, you're too half turned over. You lost it. Thumbs. Yep. There you go. There you go. Okay. All right. So you're getting this. You don't have to throw. You're not throwing your fingers open widely like you. And you're nice and flat. Okay. You're going to work on, uh, I'm going to leave it to you because this is the essence. Having you blow through this stuff right now, that's all you really, that's it. See, I want to take a screensaver of that. Yeah. You just stay there all night like this, watching TV, having somebody feed you. So you can really get this, get this feeling into your body. Somebody with a fan, maybe a pretty lady with some grapes or whatever you, whatever. All right, very good. I, I, can, I can see the difference. So there's ways to get this, right? Which, which has to do with playing a single with this grip and then allowing it to rebound. And to a striplet, you need to let it rebound twice. With the, this Roy Burns, and I should give proper credit to his co-author. This uh, Roy Burns and Lewis Mallon book, you're throwing for three rebounds. See, it's just so connected, isn't it? You're feeling that. And then you want to learn to, to turn for one note. Watch how the thumbs move. And notice that when you turn for three notes, it looks almost identical. That's where, that's why this stuff is so cool. That's that's what those guys were teaching. I don't know how they figured. I don't know how Murray figured it out. Dick figured it out. But they were teaching what is like a, a mystery school. Okay. Yeah. And it's, it's 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 not as mysterious as you think, right? But from a distance, it's like there's certain things that seem counterintuitive. Until you learn to feel them. And as I leave you with this, as Richard Wilson would say to me, he'd say, Kevin, even if you have a mirror, that doesn't mean that you don't want a mirror because it can't hurt. It's got to help. 
but until you feel it, you won't see it. No, that's right. Okay. That's really now right. I think now I think you can see it. Turning it off. Until until you feel it, you won't 